All right. I think we'll get started now. So welcome, everyone. It's great to have you here. Thank you for joining us. Um, my name is Jocelyn Weber Phipps, and I have the pleasure of being the deputy director for the Berkeley Center for Responsible Decentralized Intelligence. And for short, we call that Berkeley RDI. It's quite a mouthful otherwise. And I also have the pleasure of being the founding director for the Berkeley Blockchain Accelerator that we launched in January of 2019. So it's now the five year anniversary of our accelerator. So we're really quite proud of that. Um, we wanted to put this forum together to bring together the SF Bay Area community that is working on so many fabulous blockchain projects and tie them into what is going on at Berkeley because we have so much underway here um, that we'll talk about in a few minutes. And then also hi highlight and showcase our accelerator teams for this year, for 2024. We also want to celebrate and explore all the latest innovations in blockchain. So you'll hear that today in the panels. And at the very end, we'll showcase our accelerator teams. You'll also hear from a Berkeley blockchain project that's come out of one of our research labs. And you'll also hear from some of our frontier research fellows that we have at Berkeley RDI. So we selected 15 research fellows in January, and we will be, you'll have a chance to meet some of them as well. The agenda today, we're really fortunate to have four panels with technology leaders, leaders from TradeFi, um, also from the emerging landscape in blockchain, and a keynote by Juan Benet. Um, and we'll follow that up with the section that I talked about on the Accelerator Demo Day. Right now, I'd like to turn it over to one of our faculty co-directors, Professor John Song, and she will tell you a little bit about Berkeley RDI. So please join me in welcoming Professor John Song. Thank you. OK, great. So yes, thanks a lot. So I'll just say uh, briefly a few words about um, uh, Berkeley IDI. Uh, so the uh, Berkeley Center for Decent Responsible Decentralized Intelligence is a campus-wide center um, for, for innovation in the uh, decentralization space. And uh, it has its mission as to advance the science and technology of decentralization and decentralized intelligence to make, the, uh, to make it universally accessible and empower a responsible digital e uh, uh, economy. And as a campus-wide center, uh, the center spans across campus, including uh, multiple uh, different uh, departments and schools, including School uh, of Engineering, uh, EECS, and Haas Business School, uh, where Christine is uh, a faculty and also a co-director of the center, and, uh, and also the uh, Berkeley Law School, um, and a, no, uh, a number of other institutions. And Berkeley IDI builds on a strong foundation. Uh, so Berkeley has been recognized as, of course, number one university. Um, and also, uh, in particular, Berkeley is the number one US university in uh, blockchain uh, for the last uh, two years. Uh, and also, uh, Berkeley ranks number one in many uh, programs, including computer science graduate programs. And uh, Berkeley RDI is very unique in the sense that uh, it uh, has uh, three uh, key pillars, uh, research, education, community, and entrepreneurship. Uh, so for research, uh, RDI as, uh, again, interdi interdisciplinary research center uh, has many uh, faculty affiliated across campus and also has affiliate uh, faculty from other universities as well. And uh, the uh, research is broad ranging, uh, including, uh, for example, decentralized finance, uh, cryptography, such as uh, zero knowledge proofs, uh, metaverse, uh, scalability, and also decentralization and AI, uh, and so on. Uh, so, uh, Berkeley RDI has been really productive, has, more, has published more than 20 uh, research papers in top uh, conferences in the last uh, two years. Uh, and also this year, we have announced uh, uh, so Berkeley RDI is supporting 15 RDI Frontier Research Fellows. And uh, at the end of the event today, you will also be able to hear some lightning talks from some of these uh, Frontier Research Fellows. 
And uh, so that's the first pillar, uh, research. Uh, the, uh, uh, this research has had, uh, actually has made a lot of uh, uh, impact in, the, uh, in practice in the blockchain and Web3 space. And the second pillar is in education, where Berkeley IDI has led a number of uh, really high impact uh, MOOCs uh, uh, in cutting edge topics. So the first one, uh, so Berkeley IDI has launched the uh, uh, world's first uh, MOOC, this massive open online course in decentralized finance. And um, for the first MOOC, it actually had, uh, besides having um, hundreds of Berkeley uh, students, it also had more than 10,000 uh, uh, students joining online globally. Um, and uh, we had, uh, and the, 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 uh, the MOOC class has more than 180,000 uh, lecture views. And, um, and also actually many students have gotten an NFT for their certificate uh, for the class as well. And RDI also uh, launched the, the first entrepreneurship in Web3 MOOC as well with uh, over 1,600, uh, uh, again, participants joining uh, online globally uh, from over uh, 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 many countries and also hundreds of uh, Berkeley students uh, as well. And another really successful MOOC that um, Berkeley RDI has launched is the, um, uh, the Zero Knowledge Proof, uh, also the first uh, ever Zero Knowledge Proof MOOC as well, uh, which also has been uh, really greatly uh, uh, received um, with uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, lecture views online and uh, over uh, yeah, thousands of uh, participants online uh, as well. And the ZKP MOOC also has a ZKP hackathon um, uh, that uh, uh, jointly uh, uh, launched together. And the ZKP hackathon also has uh, many hundreds of participants online uh, uh, from 150 teams. Uh, oh no, fr from, uh, and also from many countries uh, uh, joining as well. And, uh, and most recently, we've also done a new course on decentralized intelligence and uh, large language models as well. So that's the second pillar, uh, education. And the th third pillar of um, uh, uh, RDI is uh, com community and entrepreneurship. At Berkeley, we have a vibrant uh, ecosystem and community at Berkeley. Uh, so the RDI is a campus-wide innovation center, and also we have great student clubs uh, on campus as well, uh, including Blockchain at Berkeley uh, Student Club, uh, which has been, um, which really has a long history. Uh, it's one of the first uh, student club uh, in blockchain space, uh, actually uh, in the world, and also has been uh, the most active student uh, blockchain organizations uh, in the ecosystem. And uh, they've done a lot of really great things. And later on, you'll actually hear a little bit uh, more from the uh, from the presidents from the, uh, the club as well. Uh, and also there are other uh, student uh, clubs uh, that are very active on campus as well, including blockchain law and has fintech and blockchain clubs also. Um, and also uh, blockchain, uh, uh, the, the ecosystem uh, at Berkeley has a great uh, alum uh, network as well uh, with over $1 billion raised in startups uh, from Berkeley alums. And also, uh, so today is the uh, blockchain uh, 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 Berkeley Accelerator demo day. So the, um, uh, right, I think Jocelyn can briefly, will briefly say a few words about this. <laughs> Yeah, so you'll, you'll be hearing from all of our teams, but just to give you a little bit of background on the accelerator, um, this was launched in January of 2019, as I mentioned, and since that time, we've worked with 110 teams from around the world that have went on to raise $650 million in follow-on funding, and we pair these teams with fellows from Blockchain at Berkeley, who you'll hear from later today. And, you know, it's a non-dilutive accelerator. It's part of our academic mission. And we invite anyone to join, NOAA Berkeley affiliation required. And we've had over almost 2,000 teams apply since we launched this in January of 2019. 
and um, we've only selected 110 so far. So we've been we had a chance to be very selective. Two years ago, we had over 400 teams apply. So um, it ebbs and flows a little bit with the industry, but it's really been a great program. It's been um, about education and opportunity creation for our students and the entrepreneurs that join us. So it really fulfills our mission in this area of community and entrepreneurship for the center of RDI. So I think um, with that, we can, oh, oh, I also wanted to highlight that for Berkeley RDI, we also do a number of events in August of 23, um, before the Science of Blockchain Conference. We hosted a very large conference on campus with um, 3,000 people registered and over 1,000 people attending on decentralization and AI and computing, what the future of that look like. And we bought, brought together people from the AI world and the blockchain world to talk about how those technologies may work together to create a better future um, for AI. So this was a very popular conference that was held in the Poly Ballrooms last August 23rd. Um, and you can see that we've been doing a lot of these types of conferences over the last two and a half years since RDI's launch. And that helps unite our ecosystem and the broader ecosystem in the Bay Area, as well as the universities that we collaborate with globally. So I think just to point out some things that are next, um, you know, for our students, we have a certificate program in RDI, and you can see that on our website under academics. Um, we also will be doing... Um, um, funding the Commons, we are a partner for that. That is tomorrow and Sunday um, here at the Brower Center uh, that supports open source um, development in the web, in next generation of the internet and AI. And we are co-organizers of the Science of Blockchain conference that will be held in August, early August in New York City. So we hope that all of you will attend these events as well. So with that, I'd like to go to the next panel.